Today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the full potential of Netflix and all other streaming platforms and that's coming up right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So today I'm going to be showing you how to fully unlock Netflix and get a much larger library of content as well as unlocking all streaming services that may be available to you. Before we get started though, please let me know down in the comments what your favorite streaming site or service is. So when it comes to Netflix, it's a popular streaming service with a large library of content but some of you may not be aware that due to licensing, different countries get different movies and TV shows. Now the great thing is that we can actually gain access to all of them and the most popular choices tend to be the UK and the USA Netflix library and we can even use this technique to get much cheaper monthly fees. The workaround to gain access is of course using a VPN and while Netflix do block some VPNs I'll be showing you how IPVanish can help get around this and of course the links to IPVanish are down in the description below. Now as well as just unlocking your streaming service IPVanish offer many other advantages and while we won't go into too much detail on this video the main advantages are 250 56-bit encryption, keeping you safe and secure wherever you are. It allows you to access your internet from home, public Wi-Fi's and even abroad knowing that you're safe from any man in the middle attacks. It also hides your data from your ISP, so if you get throttled or slowed down by your ISP when using certain websites or services, then this will no longer be the case. And then finally, it completely unblocks the internet, so whether it's restrictions from your ISP, school, college or university campus Wi-Fi, then the VPN is going to completely unblock your internet and allow you to view whatever you want to view. So to start with Netflix, Netflix has a huge library of movies and TV shows and because of licensing it we get different content in different countries. And while Netflix do block some VPNs, IPVanish has over 1600 VPN servers so if one does get blocked then you're not short of servers to choose. Now I'm based in the UK so if I open up Netflix I of course get the UK Netflix library. If I want to watch something from the US USA library, I can quickly open up the IPVanish app and select a USA server. Now I'm on a computer here, but the great thing about IPVanish is they've got apps for Android, iOS, Windows, Linux, browser plugins, and you can even set it up on your router or console. So if I open up the IPVanish app for Windows, we can just select a USA server and I'm going to choose LA and then just press connect. Now I'm connected, we can log into Netflix and take a look. On many VPNs, it would stop you being able to watch any of the content, but as you can see here, it is working great. As I said, one of my top reasons for IPVanish is that they've got so many servers, so you can see this is working with no issues, but if there was an issue, I can simply select another VPN server, and even in LA alone, I've got 68 servers to choose from. But you can see here I've got the full USA Netflix even though I'm located in the UK I can watch whatever I want and it plays perfectly with no problems at all. If we then switch over to a UK server inside the IPVanish app for those of you in the USA that are wanting to watch the UK library you can see I'm now on UK Netflix I'm able to browse and play any content I want with no issues at all. Of course these aren't the only countries but they are the most popular choices for Netflix. It's also great if say you're in USA and you go abroad on holiday, it means that while you're in another country you can still access Netflix, you won't be stuck with that country's Netflix and you'll be able to watch the normal USA Netflix. As well as this, you can also use IPVanish to set your location to a country that pays a lot less for their Netflix subscriptions, somewhere like Turkey. You can sign up, get a cheaper monthly fee and then continue to use your own country as normal. Now as I said, when it comes to people living abroad or even just on holiday, it's great for removing those restrictions from outsiders. BBC iPlayer for example is a UK only TV and catch up service. If you are living abroad or even just on holiday, then unfortunately you can't access it. If we connect to a UK server on IPVanish however, wherever we are in the world, we can then get access with no issues. Again, many VPNs tend to get their IP addresses blocked, but IPVanish has so many servers to pick from that it's never going to be an issue. But as you can see, BBC iPlayer is fine on this server. It allows me to log in and play any of the media that I wish. 
So that's the Geo Unblocking covered and a great way to access any streaming service you want. But as I said earlier, it also completely unblocks the internet, really how the internet should be in the first place. If your ISP is blocking a website, you can now access it with no issues at all. While I would like to show this in action, it's actually against the terms of service for YouTube videos. So unfortunately, you're just going to have to take my word for it. But for those that need it, it's a great option. Now, for those of you that watch online streams from less legitimate sources, as well, then it's also going to allow you to access anything even if your ISP blocks it. Now, of course, an important for many is going to be speed, and some VPNs can slow your internet down, but I pretty much always find IP Vanish to be the fastest whenever I've done comparisons. So we'll take a look on Ookla speed test, probably one of the most popular speed tests, and while many people favor this one, sometimes it can be inaccurate as they do have a few poor speed test servers on there, which can reduce the results, but in my testing, it was fine. On the Ookla speed test, we got a download speed of 300 161.89 megabits per second and an upload speed of 33.97. Now my normal speed is 360 megabits per second, so this is incredible, especially when running through a VPN. Now finally we take a look at cost and another reason that I favor IP Vanish. A lot of VPNs have high monthly fees which people just don't want to be paying and some go upwards of $10 a month. Now I've placed a link down in the description below that takes you to their current deal which is great value. They've got their VPN at $39.99 for the whole year which works out at just over $3 a month and the great thing about IP Vanish is their 30 day money back guarantee which means if you're not happy with the service then you can just get a refund. They've also got no limit on connections so once you've got the account you can install it on as many devices as you want and use them all at the same time. There's also an option with a SugarSync storage package of 256 gigabytes but we'll cover that in another video but for those of you that just want to fully unblock the internet and all of your streaming platforms then the $40 deal for the year is a great choice. As it says here the next year would be $80 so that's a 50% saving and when it comes to renewal then just look if there's a new offer. But as I said, they cover all the popular platforms like Android, iOS and Windows so you can install it on your PC, your phone, your routers and more. Now there's currently no information on how long this offer is valid so don't wait for too long but I hope I've covered enough information for you. As I said, the link to the offer is down in the description below and if there's anything I've missed or you've got any questions at all then just ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.